take on something that you can complete fairly quickly and easily so you have some early success. Don't take on something like a quilt. I would just say don't be afraid of your sewing machine because I, people, it's intimidating. I think you're, you're like, I don't know how to use it. It's so not complicated to use. Hi everybody. We're Jamie and Jacinda from Prudent Baby and we're here today to show you how to make a one yard fleece poncho for a baby or a toddler or your kid. Um, on Prudent Baby, we love to share DIY tutorials and patterns for all kinds of amazing things for babies, children, and hot mess mommies. Now Jacinda lives in Dallas and I live in Los Angeles, so one thing we really love to do is to create a pattern and tutorial, teach it to the other one, and then put it on our website. So today Jacinda's going to show us how to make this amazing one yard fleece poncho. We love this poncho project because it's really simple to measure and cut. You can make it in any size and you really don't even need to have the measurements of your kid with you to figure it out. And you can customize it in so many fun ways. I love the fringe on this one. You can put little pom-poms or some fun thing on the top of the hood. Or you can embellish with different kinds of ribbons. One of the greatest things that you can do with this fleece is that you can create um, an embroidery pattern. We love this one with the little initials on it. Um, and then you can put that embroidery right here on the front. It would be extra adorable or maybe on the hood. And now Justin is going to show us how to make the poncho. Great. Okay, so like Jamie said, you start off with one yard of fleece, which is usually 54 inches wide. Um, what you want to do is take two measurements of your recipient. I use my daughter Claire, who's four years old. She um, has a wingspan, please. 36 inch wingspan from tip to tip. If you're doing it for a smaller child, you might want to go up to the wrist line just so it's a little more wearable, doesn't get tangled on their hands. The second measurement you want to make is the circumference of the head. Um, for this example, Claire's head is 20 inches. So first you want to do cut a square um, that is uh, the width of your wingspan, so 36 inches for Claire. So I have this square that's folded in two quarters so I can find the center of the square. You find that center, you want to make a little mark there. Probably want to use disappearing ink or washable ink. So you do that, you make a little dot and then you unfold it and this is how I like to draw a perfect circle. Um, so you're, you want to take half of your 36 inch measurement, which is 18 inches, and you want to tie your ribbon around your pen at one end, measure out your 18 inches, and then basically take a pin, get a good one, <laughs> yellow, we like yellow, so, and then you want to put it in the center and go out to your outside line. And then you're just going to draw a perfect circle all the way around. And then um, for your smaller center circle, uh, this is where a little geometry comes into play. Claire's head is 20 inches. So you want to divide that by pi, which is 3.14. Um, so you get uh, about 6.2 inches. I'm um, so impressed with your math. Oh, right? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I worked that out before I came. Um, and you want to take half of, so that's the diameter of your head circle is 6.2. So you want to take half of that, which would be 3.1. You can round that down because fleece is very flexible. So you'll get a lot of stretching as you sew it. So um, it's okay if it's a little smaller. Um, so it can pop right over their head and not get all stretched out. So then you want to do the same thing. You go three inches out, put your pin in, and draw your circle around. So there you can see that I have my outer circle and my inner circle. Then you can take your rotary cutter or your scissors and um, cut them out. Go all the way around, cut out your circles, and through the magic of television, <gasps> wrong one, you have the body of your poncho. So there it is, your donut. That's excellent, it's so simple. Yeah. Um, so that's your body of the poncho. So then you, the second piece that you want is your hood fabric, which is a rectangle. Um, so if your head measurement is 20 inches, you want to add four inches to that. So this is 24 inches and then um, the 
the short end is half of that, which is 12. So um, take that and you fold it in half. Or actually, don't fold it in half yet because first we're going to add the trim for the front of the hood. So right here we used bias tape, but like Jamie said, you can use whatever trim you want. And did you make this bias tape yourself? So I did make this bias <laughs> tape. Um, you can use a bias tape uh, maker and make some with any fabric that you want, which is really fun and a great way to embellish. But you can also buy bias tape in the store or um, online, people sell it handmade. So basically you want to add your bias tape to one edge. Normally you would do a two-step process and sew one half on and wrap it around, but this is such an easy straight line that you can really just wrap it around that front edge. Sew your bias tape to the edge. You just wanna go all the way to the end. And you will end up with something that looks like this. So you have your trim on your hood. Okay, so then you take your hood and the body of your poncho and you are going to start pinning. How did you get the hood into this shape? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you, Jamie, for asking. <laughs> like so basically, <laughs> once, you're, um, once you have your trim on, you need to sew up the back of your hood. So we'll just use this sample. So pretend this already has the bias tape on. And then you just, on the opposite side of the hood, you're just gonna do a straight stitch all the way down the back. So the hood is just a rectangle, that's so it's cool. Just a rectangle. If you want to skip a st step later and you know you wanna do a little tassel or pom-pom at the top, you can also sew that in um, into it right now as you do this, but you can add it later as well. Cool. So then, you have your finished hood, thank Excellent. you. <laughs> um, don't wanna have a hole in the back of your poncho. So basically, with right sides facing, not that, well, there is a difference in the inside and outside of fleece. So, okay, so then you want to pin all the way around. I won't pin this, but when you get to the front, what you should have is an overlap. So you just want them to overlap at least the width of the trim, if not more. And so then it's a circle all the way around. So that's, that edge is, is pinned. Um, so then you can just go in and pop that into your machine. And you just wanna go ahead and along the circumference of the neckline. So all the way around. I mean, so that's amazing. So if you were making a poncho and you didn't put any embellishments on it, it would really just be two lines of stitching. Right. And so then when you get to the front and you have the overlap part, you make it all the way around. And when you get to that front part, you just want to do a few reinforcement stitches across that front because you know how kids can really yank on that front of their shirt. So you just want to make sure that's see, sewn yeah. in really well. And so then, other than the bottom, you have your finished poncho. And the bottom is where you can have some fun with that. So I see on this one you've added bias tape trim just with a single step there. But I yes. also saw that on this one, if you were using pom-poms or some sort of fringe, you would just sew it on, facing up, and then flip it over and give it a reinforcing stitch all the way around, and then you've got a trim on there. And I love um, how the this embroidery really matches that ribbon. You could do a monogram like this right in the center on the front of this. And make a little pocket on the front of it. Put that your little hands so in on either side. Yeah. Wouldn't that be adorable? Yeah. Now I want to go home and make a hundred of them. I know, and and um, you could also make it out of another other materials. Oh, an oil cloth one would be great. Yeah, for and like rain. a little raincoat. That would be amazing. So that's our little poncho project. We hope that you go home and make a ton of these for your kids and all of their friends. Um, although I think I might want a poncho. Wouldn't that be cozy? I kind of want to put this one on right oh, now. Totally. <laughs>